Hey there, it's Uncle Dave. Let's get a rant going. <clears throat> Still seeing a lot of friction between the Bernie wing and the Hillary wing of the Democratic Party. Um, a failure to coalesce uh, is what led to Trump uh, back in 2016. A lot of people like to avoid that, but that's, that's what happened objectively. Uh, I really thought like Hillary and Bernie were going to merge, even though they were, they're both on the left side of the spectrum. But let's be clear, one of them's more conservative and one of them is more liberal. But I thought it was enough to say, whoa, we gotta, we're going to beat Trump. We, we, the goal is to beat Trump. A Hillary Bernie ticket would have been a catastrophic victory. It would have been a landslide uh, to merge the Democratic base between those two people. Trump didn't have a chance. But uh, Bernie was triangulated against. Uh, progressives were shunned. And in turn, Bernie actually uh, went out of his way and supported and endorsed Hillary even after all of that. Now that's mind-boggling um, to be triangulated against at every turn and still endorse the very person who was responsible for the triangulation in Hillary Clinton. Amazing stuff. Just it, it shows whether you agree with that political calculation for Bernie to support Hillary. That's besides the point. For him to do that takes an integrity that we want in every politician. We just want our politicians to make the best choice for the American people. And back in 2016, she was the best choice to beat Donald Trump. That's how I look at it. That's how he looked at it. And I know a lot of progressives are at war with me over this and give me a lot of shit for it. That's fine. If you voted for Green Party, you voted for a third party candidate, that's fine. Um, but I felt that there was a need to beat Trump. The only way to do it is to take Bernie's, Bernie's advice and vote for Hillary. But anyway... Fast forward, it's almost 2019, um, and I'm still running in to people bashing Bernie, people on the, 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 the center left, these conservative Democrats bashing Bernie, bashing Ocasio-Cortez, bashing Elizabeth Warren, and bashing their progressive policies. And this, this, is, this is, you know, a dialogue has to emerge here. What side are you on? <laughs> if you're... Like, I think there's this just stark lack of awareness that conservative Democrats, the Hillary Democrats, have. They just don't have the awareness that they're more towards the pathological right. They don't have the awareness that they're really supporting uh, right-wing politics and policies. Um, and they, they don't seem aware of it because their claim to the left... It's just wrong. They, they're not the left. The Bernie wing is the true left in American politics today. And, you know, the living proof of that is, look at the Speaker of the House. Donald Trump himself <laughs> wanted Nancy Pelosi to be the Speaker, promising her votes. And centrist Democrats wanted Nancy Pelosi. What does that even say? What does that say right there? That's just proof that conservative Democrats are in fact conservative people with conservative values. And they push Bernie out, they push the policies out. And it's just, it's mind numbing and it's going to, it's just gonna to lead to failure in 2020 if we don't find a point to coalesce at uh, between conservative Democrats and, 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 and progressive Democrats. Um, there's no merge point. There hasn't been a merge point. We've been at war. There's a democratic war in the civil party. Uh, <laughs> democratic civil war in the Democratic Party. Um, and it's got to stop. And we have to, we have to find a point to coalesce. So where do we do it? How do we do it? We have to get on the same page. 
before we run into this shit again in 2020. So if you have any ideas, if you have any uh, opinions, let's start a dialogue. Uh, let me know what you think. Like and sub if you like the video.